Today we're going to talk about the new menu structure of the PLC Tools SIM IPE. Starting with version 2023-021, we have a new structure menu. And some new features. When you first get your PLC Tools SIM IP, you're going to have to assign its IP address. So let's make this one 192, 168, 1, 200. Then the default network mask will be fine for application. One thing about it though is when we're assigning IP address to a device, it is going to use the network mask that you did enter here. And for our gateway, I do want to put a gateway in, and I want 192.168.1.1. Now let's hit the cancel button and look at our main menu. As of firmware 2023-021, our main menu has changed because when we added PROFINET support and some other new features, it just got a little busy. So used to you would select the function you wanted to do and then go find the device. We've swapped those so that you go find the device and then it's gonna give you the options that you can do. So discover device is read unknown in our old menu structure. So go ahead and click it. We have discovered 22 devices. This is our 2080 LC50. And above it, you'll find its IP address and its MAC address. And below, you see our mask gateway and the version ID and serial number. If you don't see the version number and serial number down here, that means it's not an Ethernet IP device because that's how we're finding that. Let's go up and see what else we see. We got some micro 820s, some micro 850s. We've got some compact logics PLCs. There is a banner device. Oh, but okay, we have a device here that is requesting a DHCP. Now on our old menu structure, this is where you would go to assign IP address. But in this case, we find the device and now we're gonna click the okay button. And this is what you would have seen after you selected assign IP on the old menu structure but we're gonna just use our up and down arrows to change the IP address we want. And in this case, let's go ahead and put this one at 191 and click OK. Accepted. That's right. This means that it's assigned a DHCP address to the PLC, but it's not permanent. If we were to cycle power on this PLC right now, then it would revert to DHCP next time. So down at the bottom, that's what it means here when it says OK set to static. So when we click OK, that's gonna make it permanent in the PLC. OK, hit the cancel button one time. That's gonna take us back. And notice the DHCP request goes away and now it tells us its IP address, its model, and its version and serial number. We can get that information once it has an IP address. We can also change its IP address once it's static. So go ahead and click OK. And this brings us back to the assign address screen and click replace address. And it's going to ask you to verify that you want to change this IP. And this is the IP address of the PLC you want to change. So click OK. And let's change it to 192.168.1.193. And we could change the network mask and the gateway, but we're just going to execute a replace. And as easy as that, we've changed its IP. And we can hit OK and we'll be ready to change another device's address. First, it's going to ask us which one do we want to change this time. Now, just so we can get this PLC back where it should be, let's just go back up to 193. And then I will change it to 192.168.1.191. OK, and let's execute replace. And now it's back where it was. And so we could change as many IP addresses as we want this way. All right, let's cancel. And let's cancel again so we can get back to where we were looking at our devices. And let's see what else we have as we go up through here. Yeah, so we got a Flex IO module, we got a Compact Logics. So I'll go back down there. Here's a good example. We can only give as much information as a manufacturer gives us. In this case, this device is only telling us that it's an Ethernet 24 VDC. And go on up, what else do we have? All right, we got an Ethernet adapter. This right, device right here is not really giving us any information. A Compact Logics, another Compact, a Banner device, a PowerFlex, another Compact, and another PowerFlex. That's some more. Ooh, okay. So this is an S7-1200. So it uses a different protocol. This uses PROFINET. So when we click the OK button for this one, and we're going to get the replace address screen because this is the only feature available for PROFINET. 
All right, let's go back to our main menu now. The next thing we have is ping devices. This is gonna work exactly the same as the ping in the command prompt. So right now we're sending out pings to 192.160.135. Where did you get that address, Tim? Good question, Amber. This is the last device that we interacted with. So this is that Siemens S7-1200. So in fact, let's click the cancel button and go back to discover device. And let's go find 191 again because that is the PLC that is right within our reach. All right, there's 191, and click OK. Not only does that bring up this, but also it sets the target address as 192.168.1.191. So now click Cancel and go back to our main menu, and go back to your ping, and now we're going to be pinging 192.168.1.191. And if I unplug the cable from it, then you see now we're getting attempts, and we're not getting successes, and now we're getting time out. And this will ping as long as you leave the device powered up. There's two more items on our main menu. We have prepare address, and this is where you can do all your network setup. First, we have select network, and this is where we can actually switch between network configurations. So this is the one that we configured when we first powered this up brand new. Click your up arrow, and this is going to select network 2, network 3, and there are 10 networks total. So go ahead and click OK to this one. And go down to Network Setup. This is going to be a blank configuration. We haven't done anything. With the blank configuration, we can actually discover devices. So let's go back to our main menu and hit Discover Device. And without any IP configuration, this can actually discover a lot of devices. Now, it's not going to discover as many as it can if you have it configured, but mainly it's gonna let you know that you need to be on 192.168.1 and then make the SIM IP's last digit unique. All right, let's go back to the prepare address and let's select network one that we were already working with. And now let's go to our IP address list. This is gonna give you a history of every device that we've already worked with. And let's say that we don't have it out there or we're trying to ping a device that we can't find, then we're gonna to need to add it to this list. So go ahead and cancel and let's add a new target address. And let's just add 192.168.1.189. And now let's go back to our main and hit ping. So there's a way we can try to ping something that we don't have out there. Let's go back to our main menu. And let's take a look at the options. Your sleep timer can help save your batteries. You have your LC dimmer, which can also help save your batteries. And then you can adjust the brightness depending on where you're at. You can do your factory reset, and also you have the about device. And if you click OK to it, then we're gonna see our series number and our revision number. And if you're wondering which features yours has, then these are the two things that you're gonna to need to know. Click here to get your PLC Tools SIM IPE today. It's by far the fastest way to discover devices on an unknown network, assign devices via DHCP or boot P, and if it's Ethernet IP or Profinet compatible, then it can also change those IP addresses. Click here for some more application examples.